Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by to watch another video. I have a project share for what I created for the Happy Crafter who is Lisa Goss. She's having a gift packaging swap. So what we had to create is a five by seven bag, a four by six box and a handmade card with an envelope in the size of A2. We also met, had to make a handmade tag that was four by six and no smaller. We can do any um, coordinating theme or color. And then we also had to include the 10 things about us tag. And she does that in all of her swaps. So um, everyone can kind of get to know each other. We were in groups of three and my partners are a reason to create and Andre gold. So I'll share with you what I created for this swap. If you have any specific questions, please leave them down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. So the collection that I use for my swap is this pink passport and this is from um, Hobby Lobby. This is not a new collection. I just really love these patterns and I fell in love with this paper when Scrap the World did a loaded envelope using this collection. I'll link her channel down below so you can see what I'm talking about. So here's the gift bag that I created. This is what it looks like. This is a silhouette file that I just manipulated. I um, It had an extra flap that came down here with scallops. I just didn't cut that part out. This is a thank you also from my silhouette. I had cut down some trim that I got offline to cover the handles and I used some Recollections white rope for my handles. I did include the tape there on the front so all I have to do is um, close it up on the bottom. I didn't do anything to my sides and that's what the back of it looks like. Really love this color scheme with the black and white. So here is the card that I created. I got this off my silhouette. I did a layering of the paper and some pink cardstock. This is a macaron that I got in some happy mail from Stephanie and she is Crafty Girl 2016 on Instagram. Here's some more of that trim. This typewriter and the just a note came from this Bow Bunny stamp I had recently hauled from Tuesday morning. And this one is called Just My Type Stamp. The number is 2115930 is $2.99 love how it came out I did the um, same shape on the inside and then I did a stitched rectangle using my this is called a it's Elizabeth craft designs it's the dashing rectangles and the number on it is one five zero eight and this is how many dies it comes with I got that from Joanne's online that's the back I didn't do anything to the back so this is the box that I created. We have to mail them flat so the packages won't be bulky, but this is how it's gonna look when it goes together. I got my tutorial from uh, Creative Designs by Christy. If that channel name's not right, I'll put it here on the screen. So for my box, I use some seam binding. I used the negative from my shaker tag, which I'll share. I used um, the paper that had these girls on it. I just cut it out to um, layer on there. And another one of the thank yous from my silhouette. And I just layered it on all sides. I used my circle punch to do a little tab. And then I put the tape on all sides. So when they put it together, it will look like this. And then you have your little tab right here in the front where you just open it up. This one I actually stapled and I'm probably going to use it so I'll cover this bottom in uh, paper as well. So that's my little box. So here is the tag that I created. I did a shaker. I used my Tonic Studio Keepsake Bookmaker die set. And that's how the dies look. I just wanted something large and I really love that shape. I used one of the cutouts from the paper pad. Another thank you from my silhouette. This is a bow that I won from Lisa in a loaded envelope. And then I have some of those little shaker balls on the top that I tied with some seam binding. And then my hanging element is also seam binding. On my back, I just used um, black cardstock and that's paper tray ink. And I just layered it a few times to give my shaker bits some place to move around. I really love how this one turned out. So here's my 10 things about me tag. I just used the negative from my shaker tag and some other little pieces that I had previously cut out. This is a vellum heart and that's a flower that I got in some happy mail from Alexander L. And I just used some of those strip washi tape stickers. The back of it is plain. I have my goodies in one of these gold and white bags and this is Paper Studio and my 10 things about me tag will be in the gold and white bags. I also included a note for all of my partners and it's on this little postcard from Paper Studio. We also had to include tissue paper with our swap, so I did mine in a dark pink and a light blue. And then this is how the front of my packaging will look. I got this shape off of my silhouette and I just put everybody's name 
on a scallop circle punch. These are some of those fabric flowers that I recently hauled from Amazon and then I just put some shreds in there. So here's how my swaps will go package. This is the one for Lisa. This is the one for Ari and then the one for Andre. I hope my partners like what I created. Thank you so much Lisa for hosting another great swap. You know that I love my packaging. If you have any specific questions of what I created or any of the items that I use, please leave it down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you all so much for watching and have a great day. Bye.